So, got a phone call this morning. Hello, mate. Got a broken stud in the generator engine. Can you help? Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, well, drag it over here and have a look. Oh, we was hoping you might be able to come over here and have a look at it. Right, okay. So, go over there, take a load of tools. Luckily, it wasn't too bad of a job. So, uh, didn't get any film, but I did get a couple of photographs. Um, anyway, just about to leave, he goes, Oh, you couldn't talk this out for us, could you? We've broken a thread chaser. Well, that's what's left of the stud that I had to get out. Because they broke it off on the thread chaser. So, he said, can you save me at all? Oh, I said, well, I'll have a go. So, that's what I'm going to do here. So it's an M8 bolt, I think. So it's an M8 thread chaser. So the hole for an M8 tap is 6.7 mil, I think. Let me just check that. Yeah, 6.7 mil. So I'm going to have to find some drills. Okay, I have got a couple of drills here, a 5.4, a 6.2 and a 6.6, .6. I don't really want to go any bigger than that, because I really will be cutting it fine, so that's probably cutting it fine enough as it is.
So that um, that first cut pretty much is as close as I dare go. Um, what I've decided to do is so I've try and just wear the nut away with a set of needle files. See if I can just split the um, the stud. Just not um, not enough there to get a junior hacksaw blade in, which is a shame. This is going to be bad enough. There is a thin point, actually there is a thinner point just there, I think. I'm hoping just a slit up in between the slots. Thread chasers tend to have a, <coughs> well, I'll show you when I get it out, they tend to have a, a set of slots. Much like a, a, a die, but rather than have three or four spaces, they tend to have multiple spaces. I'll show you if, if I get it out, of course. Nailed up in there, I'll say. I'm fairly confident that's all the way through that one, so let's just. Right, well, I've got my small automatic centre punch, and I might just be able to try and oh, that's moved it out of that slot a little bit. That's a bit just come out. Not a lot, but A bit more come out. So 
Some of it's loose now. Starting to break up now. That's looking good. Just one little bit I've got to get out, which I'm going to probably do off camera, but for those that haven't seen the thread chaser before, that's what it looks like. It looks like a normal nut, hardened, just a set of serrations going down the side. So, that looks like a successful job anyway. Thanks for watching. Well, it didn't take too much to get the last little bits out. Excellent. This um, little centre punch is what I use for trying to normally for trying to flick out harder bits and pieces. Quite a small automatic centre punch. Um, I find it really does work well in some tight little spots and the impact does help with just flicking them out. So, anyway, this, um, I haven't got a clue really whether they're a decent company or not. I bought it a few years ago. Expotools.com. Well, And considering I've had it a fair few years, I've never sharpened the tip up. So, anyway, thanks.